you're not afraid to give him a shot. Me? Oh no, I can give him and take him. Hey, I can even give him to myself if needed. I wish I were like you. Well, don't you worry. I'm here to put your fears to rest. As children, most of us are terrified of shots. Most of us grow out of it. Well, some... Don't! This is a story about a girl, finally growing out of it. My name is Alyssa Winter. And I'm Rich Dryling. And this is The Shot by J.R. Gass. So, when was the last time you had a shot? Oh, I was about seven or eight. And it was a bad experience? The worst. Why don't you tell me about it? Okay, so there was this angry looking nurse that stomped in, holding an enormous size needle. And when I saw that, I went nuts. I started kicking and screaming until three nurses and a doctor to hold me down. And the pain? It was unbearable. I'm sure as a child it seemed quite traumatic, but then again, as a kid, everything's a big deal, even scraping your knee. Oh no, I remember it clearly. I'm telling you, the needle, it was this big. <laughs> Needles are never that big. Oh, but it was. And the medicine was the sick, pale yellow stuff that burned as it was going in. Well, our needles are this little, and you can hardly feel them going in. Now, this is what I want you to do. When I leave, you stare at that poster. And when I come back in, just keep on staring at it. Stare at the puppy and the kitten? That's right. Aren't they cute? I guess. And then I'll come back in and you'll feel something cold on your arm. Alcohol? That's right. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny little pinch. Please don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. Because we both know it feels worse than a tiny little pinch. No, it doesn't. Show me. Show me how it feels. Like that. Now that wasn't that bad, was it? No, but if it felt like that, then babies wouldn't scream at the top of their lungs. Well, you're... You're not a baby. Now, are you? And even if it does hurt, it'll only last for a second or two. Now, you stare at that poster, and I'll be right back. Wait, do you really think a picture of a puppy and a kitten will calm my fears? And really, when you think about it, the kitten would be hissing at the puppy. And then the puppy would be growling at the kitten. And the cat would clear up and swipe the puppy's nose. And the puppy's nose would bleed. And the puppy would cry. Place. Imagine yourself at Big Al's Hamburger Place. It's Big Al's Burger Joint! Big Al's Hamburger! 
needle stuck in her arm, too afraid to look at it, and too afraid to pull it out herself. And then I would have to give a sweet, fast little click and pull her. In a millisecond? A nanosecond? No, I'd jab it again, give it a good twist, and then pull it out. Yeah, but that would teach her. Are you ready for your shot? No, I need a minute. Minutes up out of the patient's too tense. I need to focus on something. What about baby Alice Burgers? That's not working for me anymore. You still have the puppy and the kid. That's not working for me either. You could close your eyes. I'm afraid of the dark. I'd rather look at something. I could turn on the faucet and you could watch the water drip. I'm afraid of the water. Remember the ocean, the shark? Yeah, the sharks in the sink. So, if you're ready. I need to focus on something. You could hold a tongue depressor. Why would I want to hold a tongue depressor? It's depressing. Because you could pretend like it's someone's hand. No, I don't want to do that either. But what I want to do is leave this place, leave this room. I feel like I've been in here forever. Because you have. And you could have left so long ago. So if you're ready. I need to focus on something. Focus on getting out of here. <gasps> I like that. I'm walking to my car. Keys in my hand. I hear the beep as I am. Uh, no! <laughs> what are you doing? This helps, OK? Jumping jazz helps. Yeah, I feel alive. I, yeah, I feel alive when I do these. Like, like I'm going somewhere far, far away. You're jogging in place in a doctor's office. Oh, but not in my mind. In my mind, I'm in commission.